In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys the process of me filming my short form content from start to finish. So that's content on my TikTok, Instagram Reels and YouTube Shorts. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Liz Charlton. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you enjoy videos like this, please give the video a thumbs up and share it with someone who you think will find much benefit in it also. So I get a lot of questions about this and I wanted to show you guys exactly how I do this from start to finish and also show you guys a little bit more into my camera settings, my equipment and also the tripods that I use to film as well. So I'm going to start out first by telling you guys about the tripods that I use because this is really important. Um, I mean you can use like something to hold yourself up but I think that the tripod is just a little bit more convenient and it just makes your life a little bit easier. So I do have three tripod. One my camera is on at the moment so i won't be able to show you this one but i will ensure to insert like a picture or something i tend to use that one when i want like a more rotating style form of content or when i'm trying to get angles but i do have another one for that as well but my main or my primary tripod is this one here that i got from amazon i bring this when i'm traveling as well because it's so easy it comes with a remote but i traveled to dubai back in june and i lost the remote but I am fine without using the remote to be honest. So this tripod is quite compact but it's very long. So this is how long the tripod is and I love how long it is because I can get as I can bring the camera back as far as I want it to and I can basically have a bit more frame if you get what I'm trying to say because of the length of this um, tripod. Absolutely love 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 this one and also I have this one as well. The only thing with this tripod is it only moves say up and it moves like this but whenever i try to do angles with it i think my phone is a little bit heavy so it tends to tip over so just to be a bit more mindful with that however i do have this one this tripod the good thing about this one is one of the amazon basic ones you also get like this level on here so you can see if your camera is straight or not but this one again the legs are extendable and i mainly use this one when i want like that angle as well but so i have like this extender which i do put my phone on so i'll screw it on top of the tripod here and then i'll put my phone on to film and I'll get that angle when I need it. So if I'm filming maybe like doing my nails or something, I'll get that angle when I need it just by turning the level um, up and down. And also the one that's on my camera, there's a little ball on top that gives you that 360 look as well. Um, I so use my iPhone 13 Pro Max to film all my short form content it's just really easier for me to use and it's just right on my phone since i also edit on my phone it's just the best way to do it i mean the camera on iphone in general is really good for filming what i recommend is before you do any form of content make sure you clean that camera grab like a napkin or perhaps if you have one of these that you use to clean your glasses and just use it and clean the back of your camera and that way you will get like the best quality from your camera you won't have that smudgy look or that foggy look on your camera and you just don't want that but especially when you're filming your content you want people to be captivated by your quality or whatever you have to show without that barrier of like fuzziness over it or dead so let's go into my camera settings and show you guys how that is set up so for the format i basically have that in most compatible you can put that in eye efficiency if you want but i just put most compatible because i know one of my struggle is memory so i just put most compatible just because i think efficiency does take up more space also i have like apple pro roll on as well so going to the recording settings i have that one on hd 180p and i have this on here because whenever you use certain platform like instagram or tiktok instagram mostly it kind of reduces the quality of your items i realize when i have it in 4k eye efficiency so whenever i use 180p 60 frames per second the quality does remain the same so that's something that i do realize and also alongside that just to save myself some space as well I don't have my hd video on because sometimes i do transfer my file to my laptop and then it's overexposed because it's in hd so i tend to turn that one off so for slow-mo i don't really film slow-mo but just so you guys see the settings that i have anyway that one is in 180p hd at 120 frames per second and these are my other settings 
basically for my camera but most importantly for the video oops i did change that for the video is 180p 60 frames per second that i have you can by all means film in these you know higher efficiencies but i do prefer to film in 180p for 60 frames per second so what I'll definitely recommend is just going into your camera, see the settings, test it out by filming different, like in different spaces, different light and see what really works for you, see what you like. But these are the ones that's been working for me so far and it's been pretty good. I haven't had that issue where it kind of changes my quality once I upload it on different platforms. I had a 4K before but then I realized that that's what happened since I've changed it. It doesn't happen so i'm guessing it's because these platforms are not compatible with 4k rather 180p is better to put on there i don't know i'm just assuming based on what i've tested okay, let's dive straight into the interested part the good part i'm going to show you guys a little bit behind the scenes of how i film my content so before you proceed to film any form of short form content know the type of content that you want to film so in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys my get ready with me. So I'm going to be showing you the hair, the makeup and the outfit part of this video. So I'm only going to get footage that captures that. So first things first, I'm setting up my camera to make sure that I have the good angle that I need and also clean the camera as well because this part is very important. You don't want to film and at the end of filming, you realize that the camera is dirty. We don't want that that's a waste of time so make sure you clean the camera beforehand so here once i'm happy with my setup i just proceed to filming as normal what i'll say is once you start filming just act as natural as possible just act like the camera is not there because you don't want to make that footage don't look as authentic you want to make people feel like they're there with you basically so you'll see me going back and forth. This is just to make sure that I'm stopping the camera, starting the camera again. And this is because I don't want to get footage that I already have. I only capture what I want, basically, because I'm going to have no space. Anyways, I bring the camera also closer to get close up shots and to show like products that I'm using. Again, different angles capture the audience as well, instead of you filming in just one angle. And here you can see me just going through the footage and making sure that the angle is correct, making sure that the footage is okay before I proceed to the next clip. So when I'm filming any sort of like, you know, skincare content or, you know, hair or whatever, I tend to do close-up shots along with shots that are far apart as well. So to do the close-up shots, I tend to put it a little bit closer to my face and also have a mirror behind as well so I can make sure that I'm in the correct frame. You can use your front camera, but I'll just say the back camera gives you the best quality out of the iPhone. So use the back camera, but make sure that you have a mirror behind so you know that you are filming at all times. So moving on to the outfit part of this video, I kind of film this in a place where it is suitable to show like all my outfit. And here you can see I'm kind of clearing up the area and removing anything that I don't need in the shot. So same thing as well, you're going to want to grab things so the camera can see. You don't want it to look like, oh, I'm looking at the camera, is the camera there or act like any form of awkward. Here you can see I'm just going through the clips that I got from my getting dressed just to make sure that everything is okay. Am I happy with it? If not, then I'm going to go back and film a shot like you guys can see here. I just want to film the part where I show my outfit at the end. I didn't really like that part. Now that I've showed you guys how the camera settings are the behind the scenes we're gonna next go into editing the content and the app that i like to use to edit is called inshot i've literally been using inshot for years and i just find that it works better for me so i just keep on using this one i already put my content in a folder you can do that when you film each content it just makes the editing process a little bit easier so you can just select that one and this is all the content that i need that i'm going to be editing today i do film in like order or i try my best to film in order but if not then you can just go in and reorder them to how you like them but i like to just put everything so even though there are some clips that i don't want i like to just put everything into in shot and we just start editing from there the whole clip is about 20 minutes long it literally don't need to be that long the whole we're gonna cut this down to about 15 seconds so my whole concept with editing is to basically get to the point in my editing so i clip my content down to the very second when i start doing the task that i want to show i hope that makes sense so basically 
some of it is like dead film and you can see I try to like go into frame and stuff and me like pulling things so whenever I go to pull something or whenever I get into position that's where I'll start my clip from so let's do that so you're gonna see I grab my soap and that's when I will start from actually I will start when I get into position because I think that will be good of me just going there into position I wash my face so I'm gonna get that part when I wash my face literally oh I deleted that literally you need parts of when you're doing things if you're not doing anything just get rid of it I don't need to show me washing my entire face then I'm gonna show myself pulling a pump of the soap just so people can see the whole process of me like just getting ready and I literally just need one second of that um, you can do me rubbing my hands together a little part of me just washing my face like that and rinse off so the main thing is just to clip the footage down to what you want it so I edit my clip and then I put it into TikTok and find music there you can do it another way by just putting the music and then editing to the beat of the music so I've pretty much went in and I've edited the clips to where I want it and I'm gonna just play it for you guys you can see like every clip that I did I am doing something or something is happening in there is no like dead weight and you kind of like gravitate it towards the content that way and these are the kind of content that I like to watch I don't want anyone like just not getting to the point sometimes I'm watching I'm like okay get to the point type of thing so I find that this really works for me so another tip as well even though I've filmed like a get ready with me and you have like so much things going on like from me doing my skincare to like my makeup to my hair to me getting ready these contents can be slit into different contents as well so I can do one with just my skincare with this same footage I can do one with me just doing my hair I can do another um, TikTok video or reel with me doing my makeup and then I can do another one with me just getting ready. So this is basically five or four other contents within this one content. So you can utilize your footage that way as well. By just filming one video, you can get so much content like out of just this one. So I'm going to save it. Whenever I save in InShot, I always save in 180p. I'm going to do 60 frames per second and i'm just gonna save that so now that we've edited our content we're just gonna go ahead and upload that onto our tiktok that's me select the content that we want and this is basically the video that we're gonna upload on tiktok press next i'm going to go into add sound and this is where i'm gonna add my music so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna turn my sound down so this doesn't really interrupt my video so i'm going to go into my favorite so what i like to do is whenever i'm going through tiktok scrolling on a regular basis i like to just save sounds that i like and that way i have a bunch of sounds here that i can like going and choose so i find that that works for me so whenever you're doing like your regular scroll on tiktok if you're a creator always save sounds that you like because you just make your editing process or your process of posting a video a lot um simpler a lot easier because sometimes music is like the hardest thing to find so we're gonna go in and play that one let me bring it up so you guys can hear it as well yeah i don't really like that one i don't think it works so we're gonna go in and try another one as well I'm actually happy with that music that I choose. I'm going to go ahead and title the video. I always tend to title my video so people can know exactly what they're watching. So I'm going to title this one, Get Ready With Me, um, to film YouTube video. And that way people will also know that I'm on YouTube as well. So they will also follow me and hopefully subscribe to my channel. I'm going to choose the font that I normally use, which is this one called Sheriff. And I choose that one and I just put it in the middle of the video like that. About that size and then I'm going to set duration and kind of cut it off in a few seconds. And you can see, center it a little bit and it disappear basically. Then we're going to go next and we're going to make sure to add our caption as well. I normally like 
just put get ready with me and then i'm gonna add a few hashtags for the hashtag the concept is to basically use hashtag relating to the content that you're creating so people can find it for my cover i like to choose like a really good cover so people can see exactly like what i'm doing i'm gonna use this part and i'm gonna add the same thing for the cover as well so the same heading and we just so press that back. is basically my whole process of filming for tiktok reels and youtube shorts wherever i film for tiktok i tend to like repurpose my content on like other platforms as well so if i film something on tiktok that i think maybe instagram will like it i'll repurpose that content on instagram maybe i'll use like a different music and then i'll also put that on youtube shorts so don't burn yourself out if you're creating on one platform you can utilize those contents on other platforms as well so i hope you did get some form of inspiration from this video or you've learned something from this video if there's something that you think i've missed out or i didn't really stress on that you'd like me to stress on a little bit more please be sure to leave it down in the comment section below and i'll be sure to help you with that i'll also leave all the items that I mentioned in this video like my equipments and so forth I'll ensure to leave links to those down in the description as well so be sure to check that out thank you so 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 much for watching and if you enjoyed this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up and if you think this video will be helpful to someone else make sure to share it and I'll be sure to catch you in the next one bye